Here we are given five functions and we are going to find out which of these functions right here has all real numbers for its domain. Remember domain is the set of all the possible x values. And usually when we have fractions and also square roots, we have to be really careful, right? And with that being said, you can actually just go ahead and choose the answer which is going to be c because you see that x is not itself the square root, it's not in the denominator, so it has no worry. In fact, the function x squared is just a parabola, right? So the domain for that is just all real numbers. But just for extra practice, I wanted to show you guys how to find the domains for the other ones. So for the first choice, h of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1. You see that we have x on the bottom, so for the domain, we have to make sure that the bottom is not equal to 0. So I will just write this down. We have to make sure x minus 1 cannot be equal to 0. And then we can just solve for x by adding the 1 on both sides. This means x cannot be equal to 1. So this is the domain, right? Domain is x cannot be equal to 1 for the first one. For the second one, well, x is on the bottom, but also it's inside of the square root. So it's trickier, but it's okay, same fundamental. Firstly, you have to make sure that the denominator cannot be equal to 0. So I'm going to set up square root of x plus 3 cannot be equal to 0. Well, to solve this, we'll just square both sides. Well, technically, it's just still x plus 3 cannot be equal to 0. And then minus 3 on both sides, so x cannot be equal to negative 3. That's one of the restrictions. The other restriction is that because we have x plus 3 inside of the square root, we have to make sure that x plus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 0. But because it's inside of the square root, right? Well, in this case, you will see x minus 3 on both sides will just get x is greater than or equal to minus 3. However, we have to combine these two restrictions together x cannot be equal to negative 3, and x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. Because here we, can, here we are saying x cannot be equal to negative 3. So that means we have to drop the equal sign here. So the domain for this question here is x has to be greater than negative 3. Because again, cannot be equal to negative 3. So we have to drop this, and we end up with that. That will be the domain for this function. Well, for d, we have 2x inside of the square root, and that's the only restriction that we have to set up. So we will just put down 2x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Divide 2 on both sides, you will see that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So as you can see, when you have the square root, you will have to have greater than or equal to 0 first. In this case, this square root is not on the bottom, so the domain is this, x is greater than or equal to 0. And then I should box all this, and then also box this. Last one, g of x is equal to 1 over x squared. Well, this right here is on the bottom, so we will have to make x squared cannot be equal to 0. Take the square roots on both sides, plus or minus 0 is still 0, so this right here is telling us that x cannot be equal to 0. So as you can see, a, b, d, and e, they all have restrictions, but choice c does not. So choice c has the one, right? Choice c is the one that has all real numbers for its domain. That's it.